<clears throat> it's autumn again i'm back with another what sold video this week was pretty good for me i'm just starting back selling on ebay and poshmark so this is my third week and i feel like it's going very well so if you're just starting back into reselling or just getting back so am i so we can do it together um i sold quite a bit this past week and we'll start with this i just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at with sales. Last week we left off on the Banana Republic Green Pumps. That's, I think that's part of today's haul, pretty sure. So let's start with um, Poshmark though, okay? Because Poshmark was a little bit slow for me. I only sold these three items here in the last week, but I have been selling pretty well over here cross-posting. So I would recommend cross-posting to Poshmark. I did go to the bins yesterday, the Goodwill bins. I picked up a lot. I'm going to do a Goodwill haul video later on today. They're, all the shoes are still in my car because I couldn't deal with them. So I left them in my car last night. I got like 30 pairs of shoes that we're going to go over today. So let's start with shoes. What's sold? I love picking up these uh, career pumps. It's the two and a half inch or three inch. I think it's a three inch pump. These are Banana Republic. They're um, a shoe that sells really well in the women's section. Uh, just like J. Crew, I don't think Michael Kors does as well as Banana Republic and J. Crew. I love these shoes. They sold very fast on an offer. I'm not doing free shipping anymore, so um, tr I'm trying to play with prices around having them have to pay for shipping. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So first sale, someone I priced these at twenty four eighty five. They sold from asking price, so that was good. All right, let's go back to Poshmark. The three things that sold on Poshmark for me were this amazing Vera Bradley backpack. I didn't even know that they made backpacks until I found this one and realized, don't forget the backpack section. Whoops. And I haven't. I've been in the bags, backpacks, men's bags, all kinds of stuff. And you can find a lot. This is a very plain one, and it's still sold for $39, my full asking price. Uh, Ben's purchase. I found a lucky pair of jeans. They still sell. I did try to price these at $24. Someone asked for an offer. I accepted a $22 offer on these lucky jeans. And I wanted to move them because they were a bins price or the bins piece. So I paid $2 for these, $169, because jeans run about two pounds. So we'll go from there to here. Our North Face boots. This was part of my stock. This was a pair of shoes that I had for years and years and years because I live in the snow, but I never used them, never wore them. They're a great pair of North Face boots. Uh, someone paid full price for these um, and they sold pretty fast obviously within three weeks because that's how long I've been doing this again so again I'm just starting back out I used to sell full-time on eBay I'm not really Poshmark but I do have a lot of people following me on Poshmark I will say that if you look at my closet I have 6,736 followers you know I'm about to be a, become a Poshmark ambassador because in the past I did sell on Poshmark when I was selling on eBay. So that's my next step as Posh Ambassador. So over to eBay, <clears throat> which I love. And I, now I was at the bins. I heard this woman say she doesn't sell on eBay. She only uses Poshmark. And I thought, wow, she's missing out on a lot of great sales. So Brooks Brothers, I finally sold this navy blue Brooks Brothers um, classic fit blazer. This is an actual blazer. This is not a sport coat. Blazers are often solid color with this embellishment. I finally learned the difference after selling them for years and years and years. Full price, $45.86. Um, I sold that beautiful J. Jill top. This came out of my closet because I started with the things in my closet. I didn't have a ton of money, per se, to go out and buy all kinds of new things. So that's something I sold last week for my closet. I think I got $24, $23, accepted the best offer price. Clark's Boots, I found these for half off $12.99 at the Ark. There are two thrift stores around me. One obviously is the Goodwill and one is the Ark. It's like the equivalent to the Salvation Army. And they're everywhere in my state. So I am in Colorado. And um, it's, it's a pretty competitive state, that's for sure. So you have to look for the best Arks and they're everywhere. So I got a full price offer. Oh no, I think I paid, she paid $35 for these. Sometimes I mark things up so that I can get a best offer. And they did pay full shipping for these. So another great pair of shoes. These were kind of crumpled up and sat at the bottom. With only two views this sold. I want you to see how fast some of these things move. Within one week, within a few days of listing, within two views, boom, somebody bought these German leather comfort shoes because they're called Finn Comfort. Comfort, 
And this is an excellent pair. This is a great condition. I mean, look at these. Bing. This is what I love about reselling. So someone bought these right away for full price. And then the backpack, another backpack. This came from an old stock. I had, like I thought I was going to give this to my husband maybe, and I shouldn't throw it away. When I kind of gave up on selling online or stopped, I was doing a lot of other businesses. And I um, kept this. So this is one of my backpacks that I had. Look at how many people looked at it. People are looking for backpacks <clears throat> that are different, edgy. I probably got, you know, I probably accepted a $35 offer, $38 offer. I'm not sure. I wish they told us what we accepted, but they paid for that shipping. So that's good. Okay, another one of my out, uh, <laughs> shirts. <laughs> it's literally one of my shirts. But I pulled out the stuff that I had, and this is a Michael Kors. It's super cute, great condition. I thought, well, let's just put it up there. I put it up there for $24.95 which is where I start every shirt, practically speaking, if they're not like something like Eileen Fisher, I might start at $28.95. But I accepted a best offer for $15 because this was my shirt. And I thought, well, <laughs> I'd rather get $15 for it than nothing. So I took the best offer and I'm liking this best offer feature in the past on eBay. I never did best offer and I always did free shipping. So it's different for me this time. I'm trying to do things completely different and be more relaxed about it, you know. Okay, I got a Zanga Emerelliado. I can't say that, so I just say a Zanga blazer. This is a 40 short. Uh, it's a wool, obviously Italian blazer sold for my... We bargained. He sent me a $37 offer. I was like, $37.50. And then I went $41.50. And he accepted. So I sold this for $41.50, which is a lot cheaper than I would think this blazer would go for. But I just am interested in selling my items. I have two of these that I got last week and I want them to move so I can continue shopping because that's my favorite part. All right. <clears throat> sold this this morning. Anthropology, guys. Always be on the lookout. Like, I've never seen this brand, okay? So I wouldn't recognize this. But what I did recognize is the aesthetic, aesthetic beauty of this sweater. Look at the open knitting in the front, the, the puffy sleeves, the long, uh, heavy look. I mean, it looks luxurious. So when I felt it, it felt really, really nice. And it's an anthropology brand, this sweater. If you look at comps on eBay, they're anywhere from 50 to, to, to 90. So I accepted it. I put it for $59.99 and I accepted a $45 best offer this morning because I want to move it. Certainly I could wait and see if someone would give me 55, but it's like, do I want the extra, do I, this is a customer, right? Anybody that sends me a potential offer is a customer and I don't want to just slam them down. I mean, certainly $45 is more than I had yesterday for this. I paid $5.99 at the Goodwill and that Goodwill over by my house has a lot of high end key items. So I know there'll be more. It's not like I have to have the what I think this sweater is worth. My friend said the sweater is worth whatever anybody wants to pay you who's not a reseller. <laughs> I started laughing. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So I sold this this morning, listed it yesterday. Okay. And it had this many views since yesterday. And boom, it sold this morning on an offer. So I'm very excited. So that's sales for last week, all the way from the Banana Republic shoes to the St. Rush women's sweater. Just so crazy. So you can see I do a variety of men's, women's shoes, clothes, and accessories because you'll always see shoes, blazers, vests, <laughs> stuff like that, <laughs> sweaters. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back later with a haul video from what I did from the Goodwill outlet. You're not going to want to miss that because I think I got 30 pairs of shoes. It's amazing. Okay, bye.